Milestones of the Century. On May 23, 1942, the USS New Jersey, 45,000 tons of fighting steel and destruction, was officially commissioned. At the command of Captain Carl F. Holden, sailors and officers saluted Old Glory, welcoming the super dreadnought that was to cut a path of heroism across the annals of naval history. By January 1944, the USS New Jersey was ready for her baptism of fire. These are official Navy films as released by the Defense Department of a kamikaze attack. One aircraft piercing a wall of fire scores a direct hit on an aircraft carrier. Constantly in the thick of the fighting, by the end of the war, the USS New Jersey had traveled 220,000 miles and received 11 battle citations. But for this ship, one of the largest and most powerful in existence, there were to be other battles. In 1950, as Korea became a flaming front against communism, the mighty Jersey's 16-inch guns blasted a path in front of General Walker's armies at Wonsan as the Allies advanced into North Korea. Here, President Syngman Rhee and his wife are officially welcomed aboard. Having spent 50 years struggling for Korean independence, President Rhee pays tribute to the men who had fought to preserve that hard-won freedom. With Korean armistice signed on July 27, 1953, the USS New Jersey returned to patrolling the waters of a world fighting a diplomatic Cold War. Then on December 6, 1956, almost 14 years after she had been launched, the mighty battleship was to be retired from frontline duty. And so the fighting career of the valiant USS New Jersey came to an end, and another milestone of the century was written into the saga of the Navy's great fighting ships. <laughs> <laughs>